Hey Virgo, it's Nicola. So let's do your weekly lead. This will be for September the 15th through the 21st. Let's see what the theme for the week is. Okay. First one I've seen, communicate. So for some of you guys, it's time for you to communicate. I've also seen prayer. So for a lot of you guys, this could be dealing with communicating with your ancestors, with your guides, um, with God. Really kind of honoring your voice and respecting the relationship between the two of you. All right. So with communicate, it says honor your voice. It is your gift. Speak your truth and communicate your vision. Your voice is music and it deserves to be heard. Don't deny your words their freedom. So for a lot of you guys, this could also be communicating like on social media or communicating with someone that is very dear and near to your heart. I feel like some of you guys need, need to get some things out. So let's see what messages we have for the week. And then we'll move on to the love messages. What messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, and Venus? This is for... September the 15th through the 17th. Okay, what messages do we have? What's the energy for the week for Virgo? What messages, what guidance do we have for Virgo? So I'm realizing in these. All right. All right. So right now, you got the world card. So for a lot of you guys, there's a cycle that's coming to a close. I feel like there is something new that's conflicting that. So for some of you guys, there's something new that's coming uh, with the Empress here. But I feel like um, it's a conflict because there's also a cycle that's closing. So it could be like a new cycle within an old paradigm. Hermit here, as your, some of you guys are being guided. This is in your crown and energy. Your guides are guiding you toward a new path. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, either you're moving down a new path for some of you guys and you're pregnant. And it's like having to leave like your baby daddy, baby, you know, or somebody's pregnant. You're having to leave somebody behind. Um, four of Cups, there's a lot of disharmony within the emotions. Uh, for a lot of you guys, you feel stuck emotionally. Stuck, secluded. Hermit here, you're here. Virgo energy, you're here in your own read. There's something new that's growing eight of swords here i feel like mentally you're restricted nine of swords here yeah so that's the problem you have this new cycle that's trying to come in your old life is coming to a close for a lot of you guys you're creating a new life or you have created a new life but because you're not allowing yourself to blossom not allowing yourself to grow you're keeping yourself restricted eight of swords here nine of swords here keeping yourself stuck off in your head um battling with yourself keeping yourself isolated you're not able to go down this new path because you guys are not honoring yourself you're not honoring your voice justice in reverse i feel like the injustice this is your energy so you're bringing an injustice to yourself because you're not balanced right now your external energy two of pentacles a lot of you guys could be having a lot of chaos going back and forth with something this is a relationship some of you guys are going back and forth in a relationship it's time for you to move forward and don't look back it's time to move forward do not look black do not look back there's an ending that's happening here with a relationship. Some of you guys are hoping that a relationship comes together, and maybe it will come together, but there's an ending that has to happen. World talks about successful completion of a lesson, okay? There's lessons here, and there's something that needs to grow. There's some bounty that you're needing to obtain, but it's a conflict because there's a cycle that needs to close first, okay? I'll come here for this week. Charity here, you're going to be moving forward. You're going to have victory. Some of you guys are definitely going to have some sort of victory, but right now you're in balance because you're allowing your thoughts to get the best of you. Some of you guys, it's time for you to move forward again and not look back. You know this, though. High Priestess, you know this, though. You're seeking the answers, but they're inside. You see how she in that goddamn mirror? Can y'all see that? That's her in the mirror. You're seeking answers that are that can only come from you. Okay? Let me check because my, my camera going to cut off in like eight minutes. So for a lot of you guys, like I said, you're in the space of going down a new path. There's a cycle in your life that is closing, but it is being conflicted because you're not allowing yourself to grow. You're not accepting this new bounty. Okay, and it's because for a lot of you guys, you're stuck off in your head, you're having a lot of anxiety, you keep second guessing yourself, you keep going back and forth, maybe between an old relationship and ex. Um, the point of the matter is, when you go into your new life, all that other shit gotta go. You can't take old shit into a new existence. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? Or you're going to be stuck where you are. So for a lot of you guys, it's time for you to let things go. It's time for you to let somebody go. I feel like it's somebody. Got two of cups here. All right. So let's see here what we got in love. Okay. What's the energy for love? Mm. We got discernment. Some of you guys are needed to, to discern where your energy is going. Is this person really good for you or not? It says you are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's time for you to have some discernment within your love life. I definitely see that for some of you guys, you could be holding yourself back. You could be going back and forth with a connection or with a relationship. It's time to let that go. 
What messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Okay. And one more. Yeah, for some of you guys in your love life, you're going through a spiritual awakening. There's a lesson. You're dealing with a lesson. Um, for some of you guys are dealing with someone that you guys have, your values are different. Okay. What do we have? We got music. This person may be charming you. This person could be very charming. Very, uh, you guys could be very melodic together, meaning you guys could really flow together. Um, I do feel like there's an unexpected outcome here. Something didn't go the way you planned, and you're not satisfied with this. It says, I wasn't happy with the way things were going. So for a lot of you guys, you're kind of moving into the unknown when it comes into your love life. You're confused because you're under an illusion. Some of you guys, with this mystery and music, I see this as someone putting you under a spell. Snake charmer here. Some of you guys are dealing with someone that put you under a spell, possibly with their snake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it happened, baby. Uh, I've been a victim too, okay? You're going through a spiritual awakening. Things did not turn out the way that you thought because for some of you guys, you could have thought that this person was a twin flame, was a, a, a divine soulmate. They may have been a soulmate, but they could 100% be karmic, okay? This is a lesson. Some of you guys are going through a lesson in your love life, and it's time for you to let it go and don't look back. You've learned the lesson. It's time for you to grow. And that's why you got that world card. You've learned the lesson. The cycle is over. You got to let go so that you can blossom, okay? Um, let's pull some timing. What timing do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Oof. Okay, in October. So this could end in October. You may be fighting this now, but by, by October, or well, a lot of you guys, this week is the beginning. This is the beginning of the end. By October, this, this situation is going to come to a close. You got the world card, so there's definitely a cycle in your life that's closing, okay? What? Uh, let me see how much time I got. Okay, good. Right on time. What closing messages do we have? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's the closing? Okay. We got Indian Sunrise 33. So, um, master number 33 could be a uh, master creator. For some of you guys, that 33 is significant. Okay. Let's read what we have for Indian Sunrise. Y'all, that's my dog snoring. Don't mind it. Some days, life makes you want to run away, perhaps to the other side of the world, where no one can judge or hurt you. To find this place of peace, face and accept your success as well as your mistakes as a part of the magnificent oneness. These delicate times are precious gateways to this unique place. Your inner faith, only from where you can, be, only from where you can fully recognize and honor the colors rising right in front of you. This Mandela is an encouragement to reach for the panoramic view, focus on the good things that bring joy. Each day is a new chance to do what is right and manifest the best version of you. A story of graceful endings and magical beginnings. I'm trying to tell you, some of you guys, this is a situation that you're needing to let go gracefully because you have a magical new beginning. And it could be starting in October. For a lot of you guys, you could be going on a new path or going towards someone new or something new in October. We've got the Eiffel Tower here, Paris. That's the city of love. Some of you guys could be having a new love coming in in October. But you got to be discerning of what you're investing your time and energy in right now. That's all I got, Virgo. Until next time.